Yo, what's good? How you guys doing? GNT here, and it is time to begin the Gunpla journey anew on this here channel. So I decided to start off with the original RX 78-2. Uh, I've had this kit for like over a year, and I've finally gotten around to building it. And let's just let's just talk about it a little bit. All right, so first, I want to get into what comes with this here Gundam. You have two beam sabers. Uh, the, the others, <laughs> the other ends are in the Gundam at the moment. And you have a beam rifle, bazooka, your shield, and a little extra clip to put on the back of here to hook on the bazooka. Then you have a couple of sets of hands. As you can see, here's one holding hand next to the shield. There's one that I've already attached to here where it has the finger out, you know, for holding the beam rifle. And then there's another one that I have attached to the shield. I didn't take these loose because I'm, I'm lazy and I don't want to put them back on. Anywho, yeah, that's the extra stuff that comes with it. Let's actually get into this here Gundam. All right, so check me out. And also, yes, I do have the flash on this dang camera because there's not a lot of lighting in here. It's, it's horrible lighting in here. But anywho, and it's like freaking 4.30 in the morning, so I can't open the blinds or anything like that. But check this out. Uh, we have a couple of stickers here. There are like some behind the eyes up here. If you can even see that. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see if it'll focus. Come on, camera. Focus for me, please. It's not going to do it. Okay, whatever. Fine. Oh, flip. Whatever. Anywho, there are some silver stickers behind the eyes there, and then the actual sticker for the eyes. And now that I've gotten it up close, it looks a little crooked. We'll just ignore that. And <laughs> there's a sticker up here at the top, a little red sticker, and then on the back, there's one as well. And then the worst sticker in here, this dang sticker here on the crotch, man. That is, that is rough. The flip. Did I scratch the dang red on there? No, no, okay. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> that sticker is just awful, but it's whatever. As long as you're not looking too hard at it, it'll be fine. Other than that, though, everything else is solid. Uh, all the colors match up pretty decently, you know? All right, so check this out. The build here is extremely solid. I mean, extremely solid. This thing doesn't move at all until you start trying to pose it and um you know you can you can get this spun all the way around not a ton of movement here you can bend by that much forward and then that far back let me get this arm out the way there you go you can actually see how far it's moving that's about it not too much you're gonna get and then the arm of course rotates all the way around goes up to there so just about straight up which is it's good for some poses on this old school Gundam the bend goes all the way up as well nice I almost knocked the dang hand out there and then for the head of course it spins all the way around we toys see everything and then yeah <laughs> uh, it can move forward and back like that so you're good you got your full range of movement i don't, I don't think you actually want to do too much with that but you have the option and then you got about that far you can go to the sides nothing too crazy just forward and back is pretty decent you can look down like that up and then for the legs oh also arms spin all the way around too so that's good then for the legs of course you can spin those all the way around to get them in the precise poses you need and then the bend is like that all the way to the back and then to the far or to the front i was gonna say to the forward to the front you flip the skirt up and that's how high the kicks go pretty nice uh, there's no it's no really going back with the leg here because this does not move 
so that's as far as you're gonna get but you can do a bend all the way up have the foot touching the dang backpack there so overall pretty nice especially for for high grade you know and now we actually can just flip I did it anyway I popped off the dang hand give me a second Let me just put that back in there okay yeah so you can get some pretty interesting looking poses out of this thing or at least I'm assuming because I haven't done much posing yet that's what I'll do next a dang segment of posing but look at that that is a nice bend let me see you should be able to get the hand all the way up here to grab to pull out the beam server yes okay that's a cool thing we can do so we're already finding good poses to put this thing in anywho give me a second and I'll be back all right and with that we have reached the end of our video yeah stuff was, was kind of jank it's just a setup that I put together the last minute you know so I don't know I'll, I'll probably try and be more prepared next time uh, with the poses I did I tried to do poses that could just be done like while standing because you know not everybody's gonna have an action base so I was just showing you that it can do poses without needing a base you know it's it's it has some pretty good movement to it Let me just do that there we go yeah so overall solid kit I think it's, it's extremely nice you know cuz I don't I'm just getting into doing high grades again cuz like I had started just doing master grades but we're getting back into the high grades here and why not have the high grade for like the first video here doing gunpla on the channel and, and like I was saying great solid uh, if I had to give it a rating I, I guess I guess we'd go with a, a five star rating so four out of five I would say there are a couple of things that um you know are a little little bothersome when posing like the fact that you don't get a ton of movement out of the abdomen there and these arms sometimes when you're trying to pose them they just pop out which isn't too much of a problem because you can just slide them back in but at the same time it is a little just a little annoying but overall super solid kit uh, there's that bazooka clipped onto the back like I was saying it's just a little adapter there that you just pop in and you clip that on and you know for for a very very cheap high grade because it doesn't doesn't cost much at all at least it didn't when I got it I don't know if like prices have skyrocketed or something <laughs> I doubt it but for what it is it gives you quite a bit here bazooka beam rifle and the beam sabers and the shield you know your standard RX 78 dash 2 setup so there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below and I'll see you next time. I'm gonna probably do some dang panel lining on this.